Hey guys, Chris here for Project NUR, and today we'd like to talk about a collaboration project between Project NUR and Blood and Rust Customs in Richmond. Let's have a look. Okay. Let's take a look at the first of two blasters that we built in collaboration with Blood and Rust. The first is a Strife that uh, has been internally modded by us here at Project Nerf. Now these are IMR builds. This one is Rhino Motors, 18 gauge silicon insulated wiring, 16 amp Timco micro switch, worker wheels, runs on three IMRs, sweet, just meat and potatoes. And as you can see, Blood and Rust has done a beautiful Beautiful paint job on this uh, with the red base coat and the gunmetal. Uh, lots of uh, dry brushing, silvers, and uh, maybe even a little gold in here. Hard to see in the light. Um, really sweet barrel extension there. Done up. Everything still breaks down uh, as it should and functions just great. The uh, Raider stock. Everything still works good there. And uh, this is just, just an all-around nice blaster. I think, personally, that it uh, resembles Deadshot's blaster. Actually, it's it's a really, really good, The uh, especially with the red dot sight on top. So this is uh, BNR number one. Don't know if you guys can see it. Let me get that stock off of there for a second. You can see they've signed it. So this is their first of two. Uh, that they did with us. The second blaster is one of the coolest ones I think I've ever seen. If you're like me and you geek out on all things sci-fi, this is definitely the blaster for you. It is also a Strife, but it's had a very significant integration work done to it, and we're going to talk about that in just a second. The internals, again, done by us. It's a 4IMR setup. Running scale electrics, fly career motors, worker wheels, 18 gauge silicon insulated wiring, and a 16 amp Temco micro switch. Again, just meat and potatoes. It's one of my favorite IMR builds. Uh, great numbers, nothing dangerous, great AV, uh, HVZ blaster. The cosmetics on this, I uh, hardly know where to begin, but let's start up here at the front. You can see that uh, they have integrated, permanently integrated, an Alpha Hawk front end into it, which I really think has a cool, cool sci-fi look. Um, they call this blaster the Hunter, and uh, they, these guys have pulled out kind of all the stops. Here, right here, here's the Hunter's Mark uh, from Aliens vs. Predator, the movie, and that is actually engraved in there. It's etched in. Uh, there's another symbol on the other side. Uh, they told me what that one is, but I can't remember, so if you know it, post it in the comments below. The tail, uh, they've permanently integrated a Alpha Hawk stock, which I think just gives it such a great overall aesthetic. Such a nice, nice looking blaster. It's a kind of a deep red, maroon colored base up here. Flat black, a lot of gunmetal dry brushing. Then there's some steampunk influencing in here with the bronze colorations here and then back on the stock. I don't know how well you can see it. Hopefully it shows up on cam. And this thing is just a sweet, sweet blaster. Guys, I believe uh, BNR is going to have their website up before too long, uh, but you can contact them via email at va 49 faithful at yahoo.com. I'll put the email address in the description box below if you're interested in having BNR do some custom work on your blaster for you. Give those guys a shout. Till next time. This is Chris for Project Nur saying have a blast.